Night number three of the Lucas Oil Power Eye Minn Kota Lightning Sprint Summer Shootout. Greenbush Race Park about 30 miles south of the Canadian border is where we're at. And if you missed the first two nights, you missed some outstanding racing action. Night number one, seeing Grant Sexton from Lakeside, California pull off the win. And last night, it was all Bryce Height Hagenberg out of right here in Minnesota. Who can have the fastest car here tonight? Time will tell. As you can see, track prep underway. This looks like a lot of fun here tonight. Let's go talk to some of the drivers. Mason City, Illinois, Brandon Smith, no stranger to winning. You come up here to the Minnesota region, stout competition, but you're still up front. Night number one, picking up a heat race win, and then a little bit of engine problems. Can you kind of walk me through what happened, and did you get it ready? Uh, yeah, it ended up actually blowing the engine completely. Uh, we pushed a rod straight through the block, so I had to go to my uncle's shop in Fargo, get it switched out. Um, I told my parents going into the race, I was like, yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it last. This track's pretty rough on motors, and I got passed by a car about 12 laps in, and I, every lap after that I could just feel it getting weak until she finally just let up. But you made the repairs, you were out there last night, a kind of a different racetrack from the first night to the second night, and then into tonight, have you had a chance to go up and look at it here at Greenbush Race Park? Yeah, I have. Uh, the track looks really nice. It's a little drier than I'd like, but it seems like they've been having a drought up here, so it's kind of hard to keep moisture in a racetrack. And I kind of hear some rumbling and some postings online about future racing, and uh, I hear there's a 410 non-wing in your future. Uh, there actually is. We just purchased it a couple weeks ago. We're going uh, Sunday after we get back to go pick it up and hopefully get it out a couple times still this year. Not done lightning sprint racing yet. Catching toward the front here tonight, Greenbush Race Park. That's car number 11, Axel Brandon Smith. Outstanding performance last night. Car number 73 out of San Diego, California. Braden Sheramonte, thank you for coming up here. Enjoy having you out there on the racetrack. How'd the car feel? Night number one, you were up there, a little bit of engine woes. Glad you were able to get from the car. How's the trip been so far? Uh, it's been a really good trip. Night one, we definitely had the fastest car out there. Uh, got a good jump, got to second, and then Grant uh, got around me on the outside, but uh, went to work, got back to second after I went to third, and then uh, three laps to go, blew a motor, but got the spare back in it, and then last night, won my heat race with a pretty stacked heat race, and uh, came in the main, started third, and finished second, and now we're just prepping the car, getting ready for tonight. And speaking of tonight, Greenbush Race Park, just a completely different animal than it was last night at River Cities. What can you expect from uh, the racetrack here tonight? I don't know if you've gone up and looked at it, kind of how did how the car, how do you think you're going to fare with a track like this? Um, yeah, the track looks like it's going to be really fun, fast. Uh, I think it's going to be just like it was last night, just kind of rolling against the bottom until maybe the track starts moving up. But other than that, I think it's going to be on the bottom. And a very bright future. Kind of what's in store next year and moving on for you? Um, next, we're probably to stick with lightning sprints. Uh, probably just go for a championship, uh, get some more seat time in the car, and try to get a little faster, and then just go from there. He's been up front all weekend. You can look for him up front again tonight here at Greenbush Race Park, car number 73, Braden Sheramonte. Car number four, Dylan Langvin, throwing the announcer for a loop. You show up with a different ride here tonight than what we had you on the first night. Can you kind of walk me through the last 48 hours with you? <laughs> well, Thursday night was our first night at Ada. We weren't going to come, actually. We came. And in the B main, we were on the checkered flag, we blew our motor. Uh, no one had an extra motor, couldn't find anything, didn't want to miss out our home track here, and we found another car, so we went and bought a car. <laughs> you went and bought a car to, to race the home track, you love to hear it. And uh, what are we expecting out of the car? I know you're saying it's a Hinchcraft, kind of familiar with the engine and everything. Uh, what's the expectations for it? Uh, a couple people around the area, Hogerberg kids have drove it. It's a really fast car, so hopefully we can figure it out and see what it likes and put her in the show tonight. Now, besides the lightning sprints, we were talking a little bit earlier, and there's something else that you're kind of passionate about, and it's this just over turn number one and two. Can you kind of tell me about the ATV course over there? Well, I've raced motocross since I was four years old. We own the track over here in the city. Um, they called me four years ago to uh, bring motocross back here, so we came back to lease the land to us. They, uh, we have a couple races a year. This year we've only had an inch and a quarter of rain. We're supposed to have a race next weekend, but we had to cancel just because our water source is dry. And it's just a weird year up here, but yeah, it's. Uh, I wanted to go racing again, and I wasn't getting on a bike and breaking more bones. Not that I can't break a bone in the car, but at least we're in a cage. Yeah, right. at least you're in a cage. Look for him for the, toward the front tonight. Car number four, Dylan Langwin with a new look. Josiah King out of Colorado took quite the tumble on night number one, night number two. He had some speed, night number three. What can we expect? 
Uh, we're just gonna go out there and see what we can do out here. Looks like river sucks out here. Yep. And uh, how did the car feel last night? I know uh, night number one wasn't quite yeah. what you were expecting. Yeah, we took a little tumble on night number one, but night number two it felt all right. We got kind of things sorted out, so we'll see what happens tonight. And how far of a drive is it from the, the Colorado homestead to up here? Because it took me quite some time to get here. Yeah, it was about 880 miles for the first track first track yeah. and uh, what can we expect the rest of the week you've been hanging up front the whole night I, I kind of I like seeing you up front same thing again tonight yeah we'll hope, we'll hope. all right look look for him car number 13 J Joe Psyche great catching up with some of those drivers from the pits here at Greenbush Race Park night number three of the Lucas Oil Power Eye Minn Kota Lightning Sprint Summer Shootout and you can catch it all live and on demand at the Power Eye YouTube page